The kingdom of legendary Gordius, the maker of the unsolvable Gordian knot, and his son Midas, who turned to gold everything that he touched. The ancient land of Phrygia was a country of numerous Greek myths and legends. In this episode, we will go through the early beginnings of the Phrygians, the mythological background of their first rulers, and the establishment of their cities in Asia Minor during the twilight of the Late Bronze Age. The ancient kingdom of Phrygia was a powerful state of Asia Minor, which at its height grew to match even the great powers of the Middle East. According to the ancient sources, the Phrygian history began with a migration from the areas of the northern Greece into the Asia Minor, dated to have taken place a few generations before the legendary Trojan War. These tribes were known as the Brigis and originally inhabited the areas around the Mount Holomon as well as the mountainous pockets near the neighboring region of Pelagonia to the west. At some point during the Late Bronze Age, bands of the Brigis crossed the Hellespont and entered Asia, after which they changed their name from Brigis to Phrygis, or how we today call them, the Phrygians. Phrygians originally spread across the valley of the Sangarius River, establishing settlements as far inland as Iconion, deep towards the territory of the declining Hittite Empire. Both Brigis and Phrygians are considered by the scholars to have been somewhat distantly related to the ancient Greeks, with whom the linguistic similarities were studied even by the ancient authors such as Herodotus, Hesychius, Plato and others. Cultural similarities were also shared with the neighboring Thracians, whose chief god Sabazios was venerated in the Phrygian religion. However, the main deity of the Phrygians was the mountain mother goddess, known as Kibeli. Kibeli would also be venerated as a significant deity to various peoples across Asia Minor and would be later adopted even by the Greeks, although with a much smaller role. According to the Greek legend, the first known Phrygian ruler was Nanakus, or Anakus, who established himself at the city of Iconion, the easternmost Phrygian settlement in Asia. Name Anakus, being essentially the same word as Anax, meaning the king, could have simply been a derivation name applied to an otherwise unknown ruler presented as a mythical ancestor, in a similar fashion typical of the ancient Greek traditions. The next known ruler appears to be Manis or Mastis, who was considered to be a great leader. Subsequently, according to Plutarch, great things carried the adjective manic in the Phrygian speech, a legacy of King Manis. At its beginnings in Asia Minor, Phrygia was not a unified kingdom, but a scattered group of tribes whose cities were mostly dominated by the more powerful neighbors, such as the still influential Hittites to the east or their allies in the western Anatolia. 
Phrygia was also considered to be homeland of mythical Tantalos, the legendary father of King Pelops of Pisa, whose descendants would eventually go on to establish the royal house of Atreus, the final ruling dynasty of Mycenae. According to another legend, however, Pelops was originally either from Arcadia or Olenus of northern Peloponnese, and therefore not a Phrygian, but a true Achaean. Either way, the realm of Tantalos was thought to be in Western Asia Minor, around the area of Mount Sipilus. The king would go on to commit various atrocities, including killing his own son, for which he was punished by the Olympian gods and sent to the deepest regions of the underworld for eternity. The most famous legends, however, include those of the legendary kings Gordius and Midas. Gordius started as a farmer belonging to the royal family of Briges. When an eagle landed on his ox cart, young Gordius interpreted it as a divine sign and traveled to the eastern Phrygia in Asia Minor in a cult center of Telmisos to consult an oracle of the chief god Sabazios, where he made an offering. Meanwhile, the nearby Phrygians apparently found themselves without a successor for a deceased ruler and also consulted the oracle on who should be selected as the next king. The oracle told them that the first man to ride up to the god's temple in a cart should be acclaimed as the new king of Phrygia. That man was Gordius, who after having dedicated the mentioned ox cart, tied it to a post with an intricate knot, and thus becoming the new Phrygian king and giving birth to the famous legend of the Gordian knot. Gordius then went to found the city of Gordian, the new capital of his kingdom. His successor was his adopted son, Midas, or Midas, who according to various traditions also originally came from the tribe of Briges, from an area of Mount Bermion. King Midas was widely famous for his golden touch, a power that he was given by god Dionysus after being asked about his greatest wish. Subsequently, Maida successively used his new magical touch. Eventually, he learned that his newfound power was more of a burden than a blessing, since he was now not able to eat and drink, as even food was turning to gold. Afterwards, according to different accounts, King Midas either cursed his new power or ended up dying of starvation. The construction of the city of Midion was attributed to this Midas. Another powerful dynasty was established in the valley of the Sangarius River, initially ruled by Proteus, who was in turn succeeded by Ioneus. Ioneus' son, Dimas, waged war against the Amazons, the legendary tribe of women warriors. Demas was allied by King Priam of Troy, who helped Phrygians achieve victory. During the Trojan War, Phrygians were naturally allied with the Trojans and with Demas' son Asius, leading one of the Phrygian contingents. Another Phrygian leader representing Ascania was its eponymous ruler Ascanius, as well as Phorkys, who fell in the war by the hand of the Achaean hero Ajax the Great. Ultimately, it were the Achaeans that emerged victorious, with the Phrygians unable to save their allies Trojans, who saw their city completely destroyed and burned to the ground. This, however, was not the end of Phrygians, who had by early 12th century BCE entered the historical times and gradually continued to expand their power and influence in Western Asia Minor. The decline of the long-standing Hittite Empire to the east finally resulted in the sack and destruction of their capital Hattusa around 1190 BCE and the complete collapse of their kingdom a decade later. 
Although there are no clear records on who exactly took part in the final destruction of the Hittites, the Egyptian sources mentioned a broad confederation known as the Sea Peoples. While it is likely that the Kaskian tribes for the north finally overrun the Hittite capital, another neighboring powers possibly played a role, among them the warlords of Phrygia. Please consider subscribing and sharing the video as this is a one-person production and it greatly helps the visibility of the channel. Special thanks to History with Sai, Nico, Panayotis Yanopoulos, Fred Lecky and Estate Care for their continuous support. If you wish to become a Patreon member, please click the link in the video description. This was 1XTV and we'll see you again soon.